when we moved into this house this closet was so dirty and dingy looking we since have given it a nice fresh coat of paint it's brought it back to life before i go ahead and set it up i'm gonna roll the before footage Here's the after. All we did was give it a deep clean. I swear the people that lived here before me never deep cleaned. They only surface cleaned and we gave it a nice fresh coat of paint. Right now I'm only going to use this shelf that's already in there but it goes higher up enough that if I wanted to I could add another shelf but for now um, I really don't need the extra storage, but I know that it's there if things change. Originally, I was going to keep this command hook that's over here, but now that we painted the inside and it looks just a lot cleaner and newer, this is looking a little dingy. It's kind of an eyesore for me. I mean, it is going to get covered once I hang up the coats, but it's just one of those anal things about me so i do want to switch it out i want to switch it out to one that resembles the ones on the inside of the door that i will show you also this hook isn't deep at all so even if it was nicer looking it still wouldn't house the amount of bags that i wanted to house so for that reason alone i probably would have ended up switching it out once i realize that it won't hold that many bags and the bags are these brown paper bags i like to keep these on hand if somebody's leaving with leftovers or gifts or they just need a bag in general i love to have these around just quickly grab one for them and they can contain all their stuff and it's more comfortable to walk out the door with so for now i am just gonna leave it here until i can go ahead and get myself one that's going to serve me better as far as holding more bags and also maybe put my anal thought to bed on the top shelf i'm gonna put our baseball caps and these are the baskets that I'm using them in and I got these at the Dollar Tree. In the middle of those two, I'm gonna house this basket. I have had this basket, I think longer than I've had my son. And my son is turning 22 soon. So I've had this basket for a very long time or at least around the time he was a baby. So. It's been a long time. So in this basket, I house our facial tissues, our extra boxes of Q-tips, and then bathroom wipes, which I need to restock on. This closet is also gonna house our hamper. And my plan for it at first was to get some really pretty cute hampers, two separate small ones because the closet isn't big at all. And I wanted to do one for clothes and the other one for like bedding and towels. But I have had no luck finding anything. I came so close for these hampers from Walmart. They were corner hampers and I ordered two of them and when i tell you they did not fit by a smidge it was so disappointing i thought for sure i finally found something that would fit i have looked all over if you have any suggestions where i could find something like that please pass that info along but in the meantime 
because I haven't been able to find anything and because those corner ones from Walmart were failing, they were so pretty. I mean, a hamper is a hamper, right? But I mean, why not? You know, but I, I can't find anything. So I'm just using a tall laundry basket for right now until I can find something if I can ever find something and on the sides because I'm using it in the middle versus two that would probably either take up the whole space or if I could find corner ones smaller than the ones I did find I would have some space probably in the middle but for right now I have a little bit of space on the sides so what I'm gonna do basically off the floor is I'm gonna house my heating pad and then just some uh, stain stain remover is that what they call this yeah laundry stain remover I was like hey, that don't sound right but yeah it is so I'll just keep this on the floor next to the basket so if there's anything I need to spray it's right there waiting for me and something that I don't use very often so it's gonna go in the back when I need it it's got a spot another thing about this closet is this area was wall-to-wall -wall carpet and when we moved in that had to go between my allergies and my bronchitis that was a big no-no so under it was tile some very old dingy ugly dated tile but i much rather live with that than live with the carpet that was not good for my health we are going to put wood floor down but that hasn't happened yet and it runs into the closet so right now the floor is the tiling but i'm okay with it because i know the wood floor eventually is coming and at least it's not that gross unhealthy carpet that was here so there's one side with my bags and i put the heating pad in the back corner there and right up here in the front so it'll be in reach is my laundry stain remover so here's the hooks that i was talking about on here i house a scarf just in case like i go out and i take the dog for a walk or i go and put out the recyclable or bring the recyclable in or run for the mail or just run out because somebody's in front of the house pulled up in the car you know when you talk to them whatever the case may be when it's the colder days because of my bronchitis I always have to have a scarf to kind of protect my chest so I always keep just like an older one right here so it's in reach if I need to grab it and run out but right now because the weather is nicer out I'm gonna give it a wash and put it away for the summer also I keep my hoodie which will go back here because some summer nights is nice and cool and you know you always got to have a hoodie grab it throw it on go sit in front of the fire outside so that's being washed also but that's something else that I house here and then I house my go-to hat this is a hat that if I spontaneously need to run out the door and I just don't want to look deadly I'll throw my hat on so this is just one of those hats that serves all kinds of purposes when I need it to and I just keep it here because it's in arm's reach and this is something else on the idea of the hoodie I've had this for a long time and it, I've run some miles on it it's just like this fleece sweater overcoat type of thing with a hoodie kind of like the scarf if i need to run outside i throw this on and i always keep this here too this needs a wash but right now it still gets a little cool you know when the sun goes down or morning so i'm still basically using it so for now i'm gonna put it here my hoodie goes there my scarf goes there and then the hat goes there no, that's it. You know, just everyday life. 
things. So here's the laundry basket. I didn't bother removing the laundry. No staging here. I've got laundry to do. Before I get to the last step here, which is adding the coats, a little backstory. I will link in the end screen the whole video. You have to see it to believe it. All right, this closet right here, in my previous house, I had two coat closets. One was a walk-in, but it wasn't wide, it was deep. So the width was of this one. And that was my combo shoe and coat closet. It was full to the brim with coats. And then that was on the main level of the house. And then the lower level of the house, I had a specific coat closet that we built when we moved in there to house all my coats. I'm not kidding you. If you want the story, watch that video. I not only purged coats, I purged a crazy amount of stuff to move into here. So that closet downstairs was about three and a half of these, this one, not these, this one wide. So just picture that. It was like I went from four and a half closets of these down to one. That's how many coats that I got rid of crazy mind blowing but I'm so proud of myself that I did that and it feels so much better just to have what I need versus having more than I need or having it just because I liked it like I said watch it and and you'll get the whole picture I just didn't run out and just buy coats for no reason anyway so let's go ahead and add the coats here and then We'll get an overview of my refreshed new coat closet. I'm also going to house my workout shirts in here. I don't actually work out. I love to work out and I need to work out. I should work out. I just don't carve the time out for it. But at my age, it should be top priority. But I don't make it top priority because... Another top priority would have to go. It's just the whole thing. <laughs> this is where they go. Can you hear that? Yeah. That needs a little taken care of. I honestly can't wait until I floor it in. These are just extra hangers I keep here in the end. And I do have workout pants, but I keep those in my closet in my bedroom. Finished. There's the top row. 
And like I said earlier, I could always add another shelf because it goes up quite a bit still. But right now, I don't need it. And as I was adding the coats, I actually pulled some out. I decided to go ahead and donate them. So pretty proud of myself for that, that I even decluttered a little bit more on my coats. And that's the bottom, the bags, that, and those paint spots. Ah, from us. I can't blame the previous owners for that. We don't even bother covering the floor because it's a temporary. But it's not a big closet at all, but it's definitely checking off a lot of boxes. And let me tell you, it smells absolutely great in here. Those bathroom wipes smell so good and the whole closet is being how would i say that aromatized by that and that's just that's just one package i usually have they come in three packs and i usually have like two at a time we're really low and then the door That's it, we are done. Another project finally completed.